God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore thee. Infinite thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. Infinite thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. Hark the loud celestial hymn. Angel choirs above are raising, cherubim and seraphim, in unceasing chorus praising, fill the heavens with sweet accord, holy Holy, holy Lord, fill the heavens with sweet accord. Holy, holy, holy Jesus, the account, equality with God, a thing to be grand. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, Praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne. He had stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth. From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from the dung he he raises the poor. Who sat him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home, and gladdens her heart with children. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness. I love the Lord, for he has heard the cry of my appeal. 
for he turned his ear to me in the day when I called him. They surrounded me, the snares of death, with the anguish of the tomb. They caught me sorrow and distress. I called on the Lord's name. O Lord, my God, deliver me. How gracious is the Lord and just. Our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearts. I was helpless, so he saved me. Turn back my soul to your rest, for the Lord has been good. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord, in the land of the living. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness. Father, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The Lord is my light and my help, whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life, before whom shall I shrink? When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. The war break out against me, even then would I trust. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savor the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. For there he keeps me safe in his tent in the day of evil. He hides me in the shelter of his tent. On a rock he sets me safe. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me. And I shall offer within his tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for the Lord. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Look you, my heart has spoken. Seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I see. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my help. Though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemies' grief. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart, hope in the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come now and forever. Amen. Father, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. (laughs) 
You redeemed us by your blood, O Lord. You made of us a kingdom. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord to receive the scroll and break open its seal. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain, to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You redeemed us by your blood, O Lord. You made of us a kingdom. Reading from the letter to the Romans. Brothers, I beg you through the mercy of God to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, so that you may judge what is God's will, what is good, pleasing, and perfect. James. James. My brothers, what good is it to profess faith without practicing it? Such faith has no power to save one, has it? If a brother or sister has nothing to wear and no food for the day, and you say to them, Goodbye and good luck, keep warm and well fed, but do not meet their bodily needs, what good is that? So it is with the faith that does nothing in practice. It is thoroughly lifeless. To such a person, one might say, You have faith, and I have works. Is that it? Show me your faith without works, and I will show you the faith that underlies my works. Man does not live on bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. 
He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Man does not live on bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Christ our Lord has warned us to watch and pray to avoid temptation. With our whole heart let us pray to you. Jesus, our Christ, you promise to be with those who pray in your name. Help us always to pray with you to the Father in the Holy Spirit. Bridegroom of the church, cleanse her from every stain. Teach her to walk in hope and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Friend of the human race, teach us concern for our neighbor as you have commanded, that all may see you more clearly as the light of the world. King of peace, give your peace to the world, that your presence may reveal your saving power in every place. Open the door of eternal happiness to all the dead. Welcome them into the glory of unending life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Father, look on us, your children, through the discipline of men, help us to grow in our desires. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of February the 17th. 
In the 13th century, the seven holy founders of the Order of Servites of America, Florentine merchants who freed themselves from the servitude of business life in order to serve the Mother of Christ in prayer and action. The year of the Lord, 603, St. Fintan, abbot of Clonion, Ireland, for the disciples who placed themselves under his guidance, he drew up a very ascetical rule, which, however, was tempered by his sincere humility and great gentleness with respect to others. He is considered to be one of the fathers of Irish monasticism. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in 